Imagine you're curious about why some individuals end up committing crimes while others do not. For instance, why do some people engage in theft despite knowing it's against the law? Positivism offers a structured approach to answering such questions by relying on observable facts and empirical evidence rather than subjective opinions or abstract theories. Positivism developed in response to the challenges posed by traditional metaphysical and speculative philosophies. Its proponents, such as Auguste Comte, believed that the only valid knowledge is that which can be empirically observed and verified through experimentation. Kohn, often regarded as the father of positivism, proposed that human understanding progresses through three stages. Theological, where explanations rely on supernatural beings. Metaphysical, where explanations rely on abstract forces. And finally, scientific or positive, where explanations rely on empirical evidence and scientific reasoning. For example, consider how positivism would approach the study of the natural world. Instead of relying on philosophical speculation or religious beliefs, positivists would advocate for conducting experiments, making observations, and formulating hypotheses based on empirical data. This methodological rigor is evident in fields like physics, chemistry, and biology, where scientific theories are tested through repeatable experiments and observations. For example, in criminology, Positivist researchers might investigate the factors contributing to criminal behavior by conducting studies that analyze demographic data, psychological profiles, and social backgrounds of offenders. They might examine whether certain environmental factors such as poverty, lack of education, or peer influence are more prevalent among individuals who have committed crimes compared to those who haven't. One of the key features of positivism is its emphasis on verifiability and falsifiability. Scientific hypotheses and theories must be formulated in a way that allows them to be tested against empirical evidence. For instance, in physics, Einstein's theory of relativity made specific predictions about the bending of light around massive objects, which were later confirmed through observational data during solar eclipses. Positivism also influenced the development of social sciences, such as sociology. Positivist sociologists like Emile Durkheim applied scientific methods to study social phenomena. Durkheim's research on suicide rates, for example, aimed to identify empirical patterns and causal relationships, challenging previous explanations that relied on moral or religious beliefs. Understanding positivism helps us appreciate its contrast with other philosophical approaches such as idealism or existentialism. While idealism focuses on the role of consciousness and perception in shaping reality and existentialism emphasizes subjective experience and individual freedom, positivism prioritizes objective, measurable evidence and the systematic application of scientific methods. Critics of positivism argue that it may oversimplify complex phenomena by reducing them to quantifiable data and observable behaviors. Moreover, positivism has been criticized for its inability to address value judgments and ethical considerations, which are often central to fields like ethics, politics, and aesthetics. In summary, Positivism is a philosophical approach that advocates for the use of empirical evidence and scientific methods to gain knowledge about the natural and social worlds. With figures like Auguste Comte and Emile Durkheim leading the way, positivism has had a profound impact on the development of modern science and social sciences. By exploring positivism, we gain insights into the rigorous methods and principles that underpin our understanding of the world and our place within it.